favorites. He's a part of Hollywood. You know, those guys that go way back where you would shoot two half-hour westerns in five days, and you'd play different part in each one. You get hired to do two Lone Rangers or two Wild Bill Hickoks, and you're working, and all of a sudden you stop, a guy comes in and puts some different clothes on you, they put a different rock behind you, and you're working on the other script. And you're going back and forth, and the director is directing both of them. And that's where, that's what Bernie came out. You can't imagine, well, I don't know, maybe if you really show people, make an entire feature in six days, shooting 20 pages a day, and there's, the camera rolls at all times. It never stops rolling. By the time he yells, print, the camera's moved over there, and you're over there, and you're gonna shoot that scene. When that one, the camera's back over, as long as the camera's rolling, you know you're gonna get 20 pages in, and guys like Bernie could do that. With that old-fashioned equipment, you needed lights, and you needed all kinds of junk to do it. I just, Bernie, I know he's up there watching over me. I, he's the dearest friend. I, he and Struther and some of those guys, you know, I started by saying this and I'll end. I've had a fucking amazing life. I can't believe it. When I read that book, I can't believe half of the shit that I've done. I really can't. It's just been a miracle. You know, I had God on my side from the time I was in the womb. And uh, some of the people that have been in my life, to get to play with John Garfield and have him teach me how to act, have Spencer Tracy teach me how to act. You know, I guess someday, I don't know, I'll never do it, but someday I should get a bunch of students together and just tell them what I know. Richard Boone used to do that. He was in the 70s, had a little acting class. He was I, was in, I was in an acting class <laughs> when we did the Richard Boone yeah. repertory concert. Every night there was an acting class and chicks that you wouldn't believe. Laura <laughs> Devon. Yeah, Laura Devon. Laura Devon could stop World War III. <laughs> if she walked through the battlefield, everybody would stop and follow her. And she was on the Richard Boone repertory company. Well, you know, there's also an interesting story about um, on the very first episode of Beretta that uh, 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 Bernard Kowalski directed, the whole idea of the first episode uh, was uh, Brenna's uh, going to get married, he's with a girl, he's going to get married, and then the mob kills her. And then the whole first episode is Brenna getting revenge. And it's very much like a Franco Nero, Enzo G. Castorelli, the policier, all right, because he's just going full out to get him. Um, and uh, the actress that, uh, um, when Bobby was putting it together, he had had a nice, lovely relationship for a long, long time with the actress uh, Madeline Rule. Madeline Rule. Uh, sister, of, sister, sister of Janice Rule, right? You don't forget anything. <laughs> sister of Janice Rule, right? No. Oh, she, that's, no, they, no she, I don't think she ever had a sister. And the, but the thing is, though, they've, been, they, they've done a zillion things together, and, and he really loved her. And goes, you know what? If I'm, uh, I'm going to have to get rid if I if I want this episode to really pop, if I'm going to have to really pop, then I want somebody I love to be the girl that gets killed. So I can really go at these guys and really feel that. And you get that in that episode. <laughs> I'll tell you just one other short Bernie story. We both lived at the studio. And like I said, <laughs> there were very few chicks that got by Bernie. I was a little more subtle. <laughs> he would just stop them 